Do you know about America's first female professional architect? Some architects become legends of history. Others are celebrities, star architects of their time. Most are unsung heroes. Buffalo, New York is a city of historic architecture and of a history-making architect. The first woman to practice as a professional architect. The first woman to be made a member of the AIA, the American Institute of Architects, and the first woman to be made a fellow of the AIA. That history-making woman is Jenny Louise Blanchard Bethune. Born on July 21, 1856 in Western New York, Jenny graduated from Buffalo High School in 1874. She apprenticed at established firms before opening her own practice as an entrepreneur in 1881. She married fellow architect Robert A. Bethune, and together they became Bethune and Bethune. Today, over a century later, several prime examples of her work survive and thrive, notably the landmark Lafayette Hotel opened in downtown Buffalo in 1904. Seven stories tall with 225 rooms featuring hot and cold running water in all bathrooms and telephones in all rooms, the New York Times proclaimed the Lafayette as, quote, one of the most perfectly appointed and magnificent hotels in the country. So, why did Louise become an architect? Well, the late Austin M. Fox, past president of the Landmark Society of the Niagara Frontier, records that a caustic remark in high school inspired her interest, which became her passion and then her profession. Oh yes, Louise holds another distinction. As a tireless cyclist who bought the first woman's bicycle in Buffalo reported by the local newspapers, Louise supported licensing standards, equal remuneration for equal service, and equal opportunity. As Louise declared in her 1891 speech on women in architecture, printed in the Inland Architect and News Record, the future of women in the architectural profession is what she herself sees fit to make it. Who knew? Now you do. At Spotlight Sojourns, we're visual storytellers of real travels, authentic experiences, and genuine connections because we know that meaningful travel is part of a meaningful life for moments that echo in memory and stories enrich the meaning. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Sparkle on as you ride forth to make history.